Shamari Saquon Pons, born June 29, 1998. Today's features of a player whose game I really admire that did all the major things right when thinking about making and or staying in the NBA. He wasn't highly touted leaving high school, being the 65th ranked player nationally, the 9th rated combo guard, and a 4 star recruit, but he made a name for himself and was given a really good shot at getting to his destination and staying as opposed to only lasting 4 games. Salute to him for even making it there, even after going undrafted. His spirit and heart should be commended for that. But had it not been for these three things, I think his story could have leaned more towards a growth spurt instead of what we'll talk about today. He's still a young guy that has the resume and the experience to turn things around and maybe get that shot he wants before it's too late. Let's talk about it. It's your boy JC Stunnergrow3.com. Let's get it, man. Today's feature is brought to you by L.H. and his song Packin'. If you want to hear this song in full, make sure you follow him on all social platforms and drop a like and a comment about what you think. Shamari Pons is a six foot, six one combo guard from Brooklyn, New York, and attended Thomas Jefferson High School, where he won a city title for the school, their first in almost 70 years. He averaged 29 points, 8 rebounds, and 6 assists in the senior season and was the player of the year according to USA Today. He was also a Jordan Classic participant where he scored 17 points. Here's what I think is his first major growth stunt. Stunt number one, tweening. In basketball, many things have to fall into place for a prospect to give himself the chance of being drafted, then also having a lengthy career. Among those things, ideally, are producing on the high school level where you're the star or one of the best players on your team. Choosing the right college that presents a situation that best fits your skill set and wanted future. Producing at that school in a timely enough manner to where they don't recruit over you while putting up numbers sufficient enough for the NBA relative to the name your school carries. Leaving at the right time, which includes not staying too long and noticing and striking while the iron is hot. Then, upon getting drafted or being signed, your game has to translate to the NBA level, where everyone has done those things, are the biggest, strongest, fastest, and smartest. You also have to fight landing in the right situation that allows you the opportunity to be yourself and showcase your ability. Most of those pawns has fulfilled, except the part where he was a fit for the NBA and also landing in the right situation. So what's a tweener even mean? Well, for the most part, it's when a player, although able to play multiple positions, isn't an ideal fit for either position. It's a struggle for most teams to invest in a tweener because said team was hoping to shore up a certain position and not be in the middle of having and not having the right guy for the job. This, to me, is Shamari Pons' biggest growth stunt in a nutshell. At six foot, six foot one, Pons is trapped in that weird gray area where he's not the ideal size for the point position, much less playing the shooting guard in a league. At the same time, has a game style more suited to be a scorer rather than distributor. Naturally, as a coach or GM, you want your investment to be as comfortable playing as possible. Shamari is and always have been more comfortable scoring the ball, but at his size wouldn't have been a smart investment on offense and a liability matching up against bigger, quicker, stronger guards in the NBA. Along with being looked at as too small for his naturally comfortable position, he also didn't prove enough that even though he's on the smaller side of scorers, he could still score and outdo the best of them. As a freshman, Pons came in and was stellar for St. John's. He averaged 17.4 points a game, shot a career high 37% from three, attempting six a game. He also shot very well from the free throw line at over 80%. 
Many believe he could have gone pro after this season, but I think he made the correct decision to come back. His team finished with a losing record, were at the bottom of the conference, and didn't make the tournament. For a tweener looking to show more point guard skills, he only averaged three assists a game to almost three turnovers, and was questioned for his shot selection and leadership development. He made the right decision to come back, but ultimately, over the course of his career, I think him being caught in between positions while leaning heavily more to a two guard at 6'1 scared many teams off. Stunt number two, too early. Just a bit. I'm all for players leaving school early to pursue their dream, and in any other situation, I would say he made the correct choice leaving as a junior. But the 2019 draft class, which will be one of the best drafts of its decade when it's all said and done, was one I wish he could have avoided. Pons reminds me a lot of Seton Hall's Miles Powell, one of my favorite college guards to watch that was in a similar situation as Pons being a tweener that scores better than they assist. The difference is Powell made the right choice and avoided last year's draft to come back for a senior year and a chance to be in this year's class which isn't the strongest, especially guard wise, particularly at the bottom first to second round. Although I think Miles still didn't show enough distributing skills, which will hurt him, he at least has a better shot at convincing a team than had he left last year. Shamari did average over 5 assists a game in his final season, so let's not get it twisted. He can distribute, and he can score, but does he do any of that the best? Let's take a look at the 2019 class, specifically the late first to second round. Ty Jerome, big point guard, played in an elite conference. Carson Edwards, also a tweener, but scores and shoots better than Pons, and is more athletic. Tremont Waters, played in an elite conference, is more of a true system point guard and plays solid defense. Justin Wright Foreman, second in the nation in scoring at 27 points a game, also shot 42% on seven attempts from three. Jalen Hands, big athletic point guard with a major name leaving high school that distributes better than Pons and has the size, speed, and leaping ability you want. Also a guy in his correct position. Jordan Bone at 57 by the Pelicans. Now this one you could argue and I wouldn't disagree. I think Pons is and was leaving school head and shoulders a better pick than Bone, although Bone does possess a better size for the position. Other than that, New Orleans got it wrong and should have drafted Pons right here. I just wish we got a chance to see him in this year's class rather than the one he chose. Stunt number three, maybe they were right. For the moment at least, maybe scouts and GMs had it right. Pons is still young and therefore has a few more chances of finally cracking a roster and I hope he does. He's an exciting player that has that smooth lefty game like myself and he put in the work to be able to get there. But I can't gloss over the fact that it's not like Pons didn't have multiple opportunities already to show his worth. Maybe at the moment he's simply not ready. After going undrafted in the 2019 draft, he signed with the Houston Rockets to play in their summer league but didn't have the showing of a guy teams missed on. He averaged just 7 points a game opposed to another undersized high scoring guard in Chris Clemens who averaged 20 points a game in the summer league on the same team as Shamari, showing that the NBA transition could be a lot smoother for him than Pons. Clemens ultimately took that spot and the Rockets waved Pons. He would go on to sign a two-way with the Raptors, agreeing to play in their G League half the time. He played in four games for the Raptors, averaging two points and zero assists. For his G League team affiliate, he averaged a modest 14 points a game, three assists, and shooting just 25% from the NBA 3. This shows that Pons, at the moment, is still a tweener that needs to better his distributing and running a team skills, along with seeming as though he's not just a volume shooter that struggles with the NBA game, specifically shooting from three. He also had individual team workouts during the draft process with multiple teams and wasn't able to stick around. Earlier this year, he was waived by the Raptors. 
He signed a deal to play in Italy and I hope he makes a career for himself there or develop the necessary skills for his size and true position of point guard. Like mentioned, he's young, has tons of game, and I respect him for what he's accomplished. I wish him nothing but the best. It's your boy JC Stunner Growth. Head him out.